Today Paul's cooking the KFC donut and chicken sandwich. It looks really good, sir. It sure does. Hey guys, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another cook and review just for you. We got Paul back in action. Uh, leave a comment, say hi to Paul, wish him well. Uh, what are we gonna do today, Paul? What did I do recently that triggered you to wanna do you this? You did the KFC donut chicken sandwich, I believe it's called. And Paul said, I could make that. I could make that. So what, what are our steps gonna be real quick? Well, we're gonna make donuts first. Okay. And then we're gonna, um, we're gonna sort of mimic a KFC chicken. We're just trying to make what, yeah. what they made. Okay, let's do it. Nice. Well, first of all, first I'm gonna show you the recipe. <laughs> nice. Um, I was gonna do a typical glazed donut, and then was online just looking at recipes, and this sort of popped up, and it, Krispy Kreme copycat caught my eye, and I'm like, we should do that. This Perfect. sounds good. So we'll put that in the description so people can look. I cut the recipe in half because I didn't want to make a million donuts. Right. I'd already heated the milk in the microwave. Okay. Oh, listen, this new can. And that, what, what did you heat the milk up to? Just so it's, it's you want it, what did you, you want it boiling. It the temperature wise, yeah. it should be about 1, 105, 110. You okay. can tell it's, it's it's pretty warm, but it's not it's not steaming. Of course. And that's yeast? That's yeast. You can drop that in there. And you gotta make sure, this is important that you don't pass the expiry date, because it's alive, and you right. want it. So you'll, you'll know right off the bat, well within, it's gonna sit for five minutes. So I'm gonna add a bit of sugar in this, just that, because yeast loves sugar. I'm just going to give it a little stir. And then, here's the fun part. We just sit and do nothing for five minutes. Oh, nice. I'm just going to add all my dry ingredients. So I've got a pinch of salt, sugar, I've got an egg. Go in there. Oh, that's all the butter. Oh, it's so good. It's, just, it's alive. Oh, that's the, the magical stuff. I want to make sure that all gets in there. There we go. We're going to do it for five minutes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little break. And how long will it sit, you said? An hour and a half, just to let the yeast activate and the gluten and that, so it will double in size. Right. And then once that's at that stage, so we're going to have, we're going to take a break, then we'll come back to it, pound it down, roll it out, cut the donuts. When, when the donuts are cut, we're going to set on parchment, because I'm probably making a little bit, just so they don't fall apart on us, to slide in, so we'll let them proof, and then into the, into the fryer. So we've been, uh, Mixing or kneading the dough for five minutes. You can see how it's cleaned up on, I don't know if you get the camera down in there, how it's cleaned up the sides yep. right now. So I'm just gonna turn this off. I'm gonna lower this down. The dough should still be sticky. I'll take the dough hook out. What we're gonna do is see how it's cleaned up the side now. So probably it's a really nice consistency right now. We're gonna cover that. We're gonna let it, we're gonna let it sit. You just leave it in there? Yeah, we're gonna cover it with saran wrap and we're gonna leave it for an hour and a half. All right. We're gonna roll this out, make some donuts. First, we're gonna put a bit of flour down so we're not sticking. Look at that, oh, it's... So does it, does it matter what thickness or what? Yeah, you want about a half inch. So what is that, Paul? I just emptied the coffee out of this tin. I don't have a donut cutter. Of course. So we're just gonna improvise. <laughs> so you just use what you got. And I just, when I saw them, I'm like, that's a good, uh, that I should have rolled, I can re-roll. And then this I'm gonna use for our little... Our center? Our center. Like that. So we take a little center out. Make it little, little Timbits. Oh, right, right. With those things. So be very careful with that. So what I do is just set that, I wanna keep that, that shape. So I'm just gonna set over here for now. <laughs> Rather than pounding these out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butterfly them down into a nice big size for the donut, so it's perfect. Just to save on time too. There we go. Beautiful. Now let me wash my hands. So this one, I've got my buttermilk. I'm just gonna bathe it. I'm just gonna bathe it in there. Let it just... Was that part of the KFC recipe? Is buttermilk? The one they used, they'd mixed egg in, I guess to get a thicker consistency. Okay. 
um, I always just do buttermilk, and I find, and if I want to do a thicker, like a, a thicker crusting, I can do double dip, just back and forth sure. once. So we'll leave that in there right now. Let's what we'll dip. do is we'll get the donuts going, the glaze okay. going, and then we'll then we'll fry the chicken and put it together. Perfect. And we can eat because I'm hungry. I'm starving, dude. When I started looking, so I redid a couple of the donuts with a smaller hole. Because so these were, were too big. Yeah. The hole was too big, everything's just gonna fall through it. So we went with that version, and I bet that's gonna be better. We'll see how this goes. Just hope it cooks evenly. Just watch online, a lot of people take the, the paper, so they're keeping the shape, and then put that in so they're not getting a splash. If you're really careful though, I mean, you should be able to get it down low watch and then fingers. just sort of let your fingers slide, but you don't want it to splash yeah, on you because you know, we're at 360 degrees here. Now look at how much the holes closed up. That's what we want. Let's see what happens. Let's put one more in there. These ones are pretty. Give it a flip, see how it's, the color's changing. Nice golden brown there. Mm -hmm. You can see which one I put in first. Yeah. And then see the, it does close a little bit, but this is, we can do a comparison. Yeah, these ones are a lot puffier. Yeah. I think so, we made the right decision. It's funny how much it closed up, eh? When it expands. Yeah. But they'll work better as bun tops anyway. I think we forgot something, Paul. I think we did too. I was <laughs> preoccupied with the donuts. And I was like, there's something wrong because I am getting pretty thirsty. Mm. <laughs> ah, look at it. And I know how much you love this, Ken. Oh, oh yeah. That's for you. Nice. And this one here, oh yeah, is for me. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When I, when I was looking at the recipe on this glaze, it's milk and sugar, and I was like, that's usually, usually it's like a clear, like a, a butter. Yeah. I with the sugar, be butter, right? because the butter, what happens with the butter is it as it cools, it congeals, and you get that nice coating, whereas. I was sort of surprised and I was like, you know what, I'll try this anyways, because I'm I've never seen that before. Or I've never done this this type of oh. Oh. But this is the one, this is what they put for their, their copycat crispy cream, so I was like, well, if we're copying the Yeah, somebody's gotta know. Crispy cream, we might as well go through and then we can say either yes it is very similar or no, and then I'll do another video and make it spawn on maybe. Yeah. So that's the consistency. That's what think? we want. Yeah, we yeah. want it. I mean, if you want it, uh, if you want it uh, thicker, you add a bit more sugar, and if you want it thinner, then you obviously a little bit more, little bit more milk. Right. So we're gonna do. So we're just gonna go like this. Hopefully, it's not. Uh, I'm just gonna dip the one side, just to give it a try. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we got our chicken. It chicken time, Paul. It's chicken time, and it's almost time to eat, which is the best time of day. So you, you bathe it in there first? Yes. You want to want to do a double one? Double sure, dip? Yeah, so we please. get it nice and I want you'll, it you'll appreciate it. You'll be like, Super oh. thick and crunchy. Look, at, oh yeah. Yeah, that'll taste, um, oh it smells great. It smells really good. Make sure it's well coated. There we go, there's one. Now for you. And the rest is mine. <laughs> double dipped. Right there, people. Okay, Paul, oh. put that down. Okay, okay. I know, I know. Once again, nice and slow. Nice and slow, so you don't bash your... Misjudge the depth. There we go. That's that looking good. So how long does chicken usually take when you're deep frying it's gonna it? A, it's gonna be a few minutes. I'll show you, so the temperature is dropping. I'm going to turn it up just a touch, just to bring the temperature up. Nice. Is it close, Paul? It's getting there. Is you it? See how starting to float now? Right. But they're floating. They're eating ready. Damn, that smells good. <laughs> Woo! Look good, sir? Oh, yeah. Looking good. How's that smell, Kenny? Oh, it smells beautiful. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. For a second. Oh, that smells good. It looks good. Oh, here it goes, people. That thing. We're putting it together. Holy <laughs> cow! That's only one. Holy. That's geez. only one. As you want some of that extra drizzle sweetness on there. Look at this stuff. Look at. Look at that. Mmm. Oh boy. There you yeah. Go. That's it. That's it right there. Gee willikers. Oh. I think it's eating time. I think it's eating time too. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> All right, guys. Paul, dude, that looks absolutely stunning. Oh, it smells fantastic. And I can't wait. I want to do the 3D effect there so everyone enjoys it more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you ready? Yep. Cheers. How do we eat this? Uh, I don't know. How do we eat this mess? We got lots of napkins because we're going to need it. Are you ready? Yes. Pick her up oh, somehow. Oh, it's stuck to the plate. <laughs> Put one right in. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Oh, I like your chicken. It is nice. That's really good. I can't wait to share that recipe with people. Mm. That is very, very good. Wow. Yeah. That is probably the messiest. Pretty messy. I think we've had messier though. Is this is just going to be like super sticky as opposed to super messy? So I think we've had messier burgers. Mine's so crazy hot. I just bit the chicken on this side and uh, I just burned my mouth. And I thought with it sitting for a minute. Mm. So good thing. It takes a while to take the pictures and for the thumbnail. Oh, this is just, it just cool, cools it right down. Again, guys, this is not something you'd want to eat too often. But it is super super good and it's all over our lips <laughs> mm. i've had this already that was and what do you think it's your first time trying something like this well it's unique it's unique I'm not really a donut eater um so what do you think about the sweet i sort of see the sweet because you know the waffle chicken uh -huh. i sort of get it because you got that sweet with it once in a while, if you want to shock your guests, you kind of make this when they come over for dinner. Yeah. What are we having? Donuts and chicken. What? Ooh. What are we having? Are you serious? Yeah. You're going to love it. Mine's just coming apart. Yeah, it's just falling apart. Well, Paul and I are going to polish the rest of these off, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys. We are all done that amazing meal. Paul, what are some of the challenges Ooh. that you faced? <laughs> cooking this meal. Uh, I think just the temperature of the oil. Um, it seemed like it was it was cooking really fast, like browning quickly. Um, but the inside wasn't cooked yet. Yeah, so... But these were fine, right? This, yeah, mine was yeah, perfect. Yeah. Like, but I, I, it could have been lighter. Um, right. So maybe just a little bit lower on the temperature. I'd have to experiment though, because there's yeah. a lot of stuff on the internet on, on temperatures. I, temperatures I really, on different flowers and Things yeah. like that could possibly Pastry change. Flour, like yeah. a lighter, finer flour mm. uh, types of yeast. Again, this is the second time I've ever eaten this, and I liked the KFC one. I liked yours. Uh, they were both dynamite. Uh, again, if you try want to try this recipe, I think you'll love it. Uh, again, don't eat it every month. Maybe once a year. <laughs> That's it. That would be a great like birthday. It's, I think it's high in calories. Yeah, I think it's high in calories and sugar. It just for ruined sure. my diet. Yeah. Anyway, Paul, thank you very much for making that amazing meal. Uh, give it a shot, guys. All the instructions should be in the description below. Uh, if you guys enjoy these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding. ding. <laughs> uh, but if you want to see some more of these awesome cooking reviews, check it out in this playlist right over here. Nice.